So the luggage area in the Tel Aviv airport is very easy to navigate and in the last years it's become much easier here at the airport and faster. Come on over, you already got you on video. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Greetings, everyone. Oh, hello. I saw you in a picture already got sent. Oh, thank you. I saw lots of you already in pictures. Welcome. Right over here, folks. I got you on video now. I think I know this guy. <laughs> Hi, Jess. Hi. Welcome. I'm gonna get. All of you now in the video, so your families can all see you back home. <laughs> so everybody say hello. Hello. I'm making. I want your families to all see you back hello. home. So wave and say hello to your. Hello. To everybody at Ave Maria and all your parents. You made it. You made it and you're Whoa! safe. <laughs> you guys are going to be a lot of fun. I can see that already. Here we go. We're going to have a lot of fun. Look at how many there are. They just keep coming and coming and coming. Things happen fast. Yeah. So one of the reasons I'm so happy that you're all here is because I came when I was a teenager. I came when I was 15, right after becoming Catholic, and it changed my whole outlook on the faith. I came again two years later, and again two years later. It's because I have such a generous dad. He he never counted the cost to make sure that his family had everything that they needed. So thank you, Dad. I love you. You're welcome. We love you too. That's why we did it. <laughs> so I, we've been praying for all of you for a long time. There's people back home praying for you right now. I'm sure your families are, but I've asked specific people to pray for you. On the back of your name. Well, we're pretty excited about this whole thing with a bus full of young people, college age kids. All very nice kids too. Very special kids. Very holy. They love the Lord. Uh, we got the idea because we're losing nine out of ten of our kids when they go through college they leave the faith eventually now they're not going to do that at Ave Maria of course but we wanted to start having a pilgrimages just for young people where we could immerse them in the land the Jews do it in a called birthright they bring 50,000 young Jewish kids over to teach them their birthright in the land of Israel well we figured we should do that too this is our inheritance as well so we decided to start bringing young people over. We're looking for donors, and we want to help bring them over here for really, really inexpensively so they can afford to come. We have a bus full of 50 people on this bus right now, and that was one of the fastest groups of people we've ever put together for a pilgrimage. So we're going to do a lot of fun things with them that we don't do with the older folks. Jeep riding in the wilderness, going through Hezekiah's tunnel through the water, cable car rides down Haifa to the Mediterranean for lunch. We're going to do a lot of fun things. But we got this idea, it's working, it's called inheritancepilgrimages.com. Go to inheritancepilgrimages.com. Pilgrimage single. Both. Nope. It's sing oh, it's both. It's, but you can go to Inheritance Pilgrimage or inheritancepilgrimages.com and learn what we're doing here. My son Jesse's running this thing and we want to develop it. We'd love to see it get to the point where we're bringing five or 10,000 young people here a year to give them an intense Bible study and an immersion into the Catholic faith in the land where it all started. So thanks for joining us. We're going to be making a video every day and you'll get to meet some of these kids and see what we're doing.
here I'm looking out our room over Nazareth and right out the window there's the Church of Annunciation where the angel came to Mary 2,000 years ago and she said be it done unto me according to thy word. We've arrived in Nazareth and we'll see you all tomorrow after a nice dinner everyone's going to have. And they held dinner for us. Look at that. Everybody's getting a nice meal here. Is it okay? It's great. Awesome. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah, look at this nice, uh, oh, there's a lentil soup and rice and falafels and french fries and chicken and fish, vegetables, olives, peppers, salad stuff. Not bad. Not bad at all. You guys aren't going to go hungry around here, I'll guarantee that. Good night, everyone. We're going to finish dinner and get to bed. <laughs> it's been a long day. But I was surprised at how delightful the meal is. It's good. Very colorful and delicious. Very good. And everybody seems to be having fun. Oh, yeah. And Joseph took a risk and bought a bottle of wine. He doesn't know how much.